The Building Blocks of Ecological Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 170. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 170, June 26, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the Humility lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, in any learning environment, using the central theme of humility, is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the Humility lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the Humility Lesson Plan, bringing that to 25% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, which features contributions from naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, this week we compiled all of the potato recipes as you see here. They will be added to the recipe strategy pages we are updating. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on section 10, where we continued editing procedural steps one through 41 and added new video inserts, along with changing some existing video titles to reflect the modified narratives. We also wrote the narratives for steps 36, 38, 39, and 40. We'd say we are now 87% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Related to this, Jessica Zinda, drafter and designer, put the final touches on the excavation drawing as shown here. Also, for the Earthbag Village, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, began updating this image of the Central Tropical Atrium. This week's work included adding furniture on top of the structure and trees and rocks throughout the village. And Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional do-it-yourself Earthbag Village Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly instructions. What you see here is week six of this process and our second version of exploring instructions for cutting the proper pieces. Gao Yang Du, construction project manager, also continued working on the materials, schedules, layouts, for the Earth Bay Village materials page. You can see week two of this work here outlining the floor, bathrooms, and showers. Ray Tribule, web developer and active duty U.S. sailor, also continued working on final revisions and edits for the communal vermiculture eco-toilet designs that are part of the Earth Bay Village Pod 1. 
What you see here is the Google Doc Trib is working on before beginning to move these details to the website. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his second week of Photoshop work on the renders for the shipping container village Pod 5. Here you see his first versions of two different perspectives of the residences and rental rooms and a view outside the dining area and looking northwest. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here are more updated service design pages and the first few updated storyboard pages featuring the artwork of Anna Carolina, industrial design and service design student. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on what is needed for the renders of the natural pool and spa area aspects of the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was on updating all material textures to add more color diversity to the rocks, placing more stones around the mechanical room door and waterfall, and creating shadows for rendering images in two different directions. The core team also rendered this image for the cupola area of the Duplical City Center. We also updated all the Duplical City Center icons for the open source hub and all the associated pages. You can see the new icons here. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplical City Center library. What you see here is round 11 of this work, now focusing on another series of exploration for different ways to artistically and effectively integrate the ceiling lighting with the shelving. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also updated the lighting zones for the city center and then added the optimum and minimum lumens along with the optimum lights to the AutoCAD file. The results are seen here. Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, and Jay then discussed more circuit design details and also how Dipti's information could best be displayed on the AutoCAD for the control systems designs. What they came up with is important because it'll be the format for all the villages and we'll use it for the HVAC systems too. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team created seven new icons and recolored and cleaned up several existing icons. You can see them all here. What one community is doing is open sourcing the building blocks of ecological living. We've identified these foundational and crucial building blocks as a combination of physical sustainability and emotional sustainability that we're putting together as an evolution of sustainability to create a better way of living so that people will want to participate. Now the physical building blocks or physical sustainability building blocks are food, energy, and housing. Everybody's aware of those. But we see as equally as important is the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good economics, highest good education, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting them together is the evolution of sustainability and building the complete model and demonstrating the complete model as a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub that can be built anywhere around the world is what one community is all about. Our idea of the building blocks of ecological living is putting them all together to create the model that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living, and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it is attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And the complete model is designed to simultaneously address all of the challenges of our generation and for the foreseeable future, because we see these things as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. So we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that see that these building blocks of ecological living can be put together in such a way that it can not only better meet the needs of people right now, but it can truly create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. Not because everybody has to participate, because everybody will want to participate or because enough, a, a large enough percentage of people want to participate that we can reach that global tipping point of involvement so that we can take the resources and know-how that already exists, the ability that we already have, the technology that, we, that already exists, and apply it in such a way that we can make a world that 
truly works for everybody, that we can meet everybody's energy needs, their food needs, their housing needs, their education needs. For now, in the foreseeable future, in a sustainable, a truly sustainable way, changing the way that people live because it's it would provide a better way of living from most people's perspective. And for those that would like to continue living the way that they are right now, that is, of course, an option because there is no need to or have to or should involved in our project. We're non-ideological. Everything's open source so that people can apply it as either individual components or as the complete model, however it works best for them. But our idea is to take these building blocks of ecological living and to make them accessible, to demonstrate that putting them together provides something that can really only be provided by putting them together. This is what one community is doing. So if you too possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to be a part of what it is that we're doing that sounds interesting, that sounds exciting, that sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build the prototype, one community, everything that we're designing right now, to just sharing our information on social media. That's hugely helpful because if our information doesn't get out there, if it doesn't get in the hands of enough people, how do we reach the tipping point? <clears throat> so we are on all the different social media networks to make that as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Sue. There are about 15 other social media networks, and sharing our information there is a big help. Also, of course, people say, well, what is the number one thing that could help you right now? We're still seeking large-scale funding. You know, we are a 100% volunteer organization, unpaid volunteer organization. So every dollar that gets donated to us goes towards forwarding our open source goals and our global mission. But we're still seeking that large scale funding to help us get the property off the market, take everything to the next level. So if you or somebody you know has access to funding or knows people that have access to funding would like to help out, invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would greatly appreciate that. Right now, our primary focus is on infrastructure. Right now, our primary focus is on becoming shovel ready, getting everything done that's necessary so that we can build when we have the funding. And when we get to the point where all that is done, then our primary focus will be on seeking funding. In the meantime, though, all help is appreciated. The small donations, the $5, the $10, the $20, those make a big difference in covering our overhead, which for a global organization like ours is surprisingly low, actually, but more than most people realize. So, as always, I like to say thank you. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to receive more details, more specifics, if you'd like to see links to all the open source content, you visit our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to be added to our email list, our newsletter list, you can send email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will happily put you on the email list. You'll get an email once a week when one of these updates comes out. And uh, as I like to say at the end of every one of these videos, until next week, we will, of course, Keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.